What's up, my soul fam? My name is Trin Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. I can't never, ever thank you enough. Um, thank you for my new subscribers. Welcome, and I'm honored. If you clicked here for the first time, welcome. All right. And a little bit about the channel is we seek the truth and nothing but the truth on this channel. Encouraging words and sound advice. We laugh and cut it up and keep it real so much so that it may cut you or make you may uh, feel offended. Don't. It's all in love. I'm going to tell you whatever I got to tell you to move forward in life. Come out of being stuck and stagnant. That's not what spirit has for you. You you are to live a prosperous life, okay? And if I have to keep it real with you for you to have that, I will. All right. So, um if you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you, then click the like and subscribe and share. Comment, comment, comment. <laughs> My readings are timeless. Readings can go vice versa. Just take what resonates and let go of what doesn't. No gender bias here. Only male and female energy. Whichever one you associate with. Hold, um, healing is the key to our happiness and success. Therefore, my readings will always come from a healing perspective. And my readings, all of my readings are general readings. I am not doing personal readings at this time. I will in the future, but not right now. Um, so always pray. Always pray. And if you don't pray, meditate. And always seek spiritual guidance if this is the reading for you, okay? Um, now, let me get my roll on. All right, now let's get into it. We are honoring the sign of Scorpio. Bam, that is Scorpio. All right, so Scorpio, um, we're going to channel whatever spear has. We're going to get the tarot. We're going to um, love messages, and then we have love oracle. If I have time, I will do the charms, okay? All right, so here we go. Your overall energy is the sun. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful card to have. The sun is the most positive card in the whole tarot deck. It overshadows everything. It is a positive, positive, positive card. A lot of positive energy, a lot of positive things in it, okay? And this card is the same. <laughs> it has all these different things in it. It has the sun in it. The sun enlightens. This, the sun is joy. The sun is happiness. This is one, which means new beginnings, new opportunities, new potential. All of this positive energy in here, all this newness in here. So when we start looking at this and pertaining it to love let's see what's going on okay all right so when i clarified it we got 22 <laughs> 22 is a master number all right so we got something going on significant here we have two which is balance, partnership, and duality. So now we know we're talking about a partnership. We're talking about a partnership that needs to, that is balanced and has duality in it. Um, we are, when I look at this card, okay, this card is about choices because this side is the sun and this side is the moon. What side are you gonna, what, where are you gonna go, okay? Um, overshadow, overshadowing this is balance, okay? So you need to balance you, your, your balance your sun and your moon, okay? You need to balance those dualities within you. This is the page. The page is offering new, wants the, uh, the page of pinnacles, which is the offering of, um, you know, uh, material things as far as offering up, um, a new opportunity, new uh, a message of opportunity, a message of um, love. It could be a message of love, opportunity, and love. 
because um, this is a pinnacle. So pin, uh, pinnacles is is a you know about abundance, about uh, material matters, money, but the page is about messages. And, and that message, it could be about opportunity, okay? Because also, pinnacles could be about an opportunity. But then this card has so much going on here. It has so much going on in this card, okay? All right, so let me see. When I put both of them together, let's see what we can get here. Okay, so what I'm getting for you, Scorpio, is that it's a lot of positive energy um, that's forming in your relationship, where your relationship used to be stuck and stagnant, where this person used to, um, you, 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 you never thought that, um, it would work. You walked away from it because it was stuck and stagnant. It wasn't moving. It didn't offer you anything. It wasn't, um, your cup of tea. This person was different. This person wasn't willing to move, wasn't willing to much, wasn't willing to make a decision. Um, you have moved on from that. You have transformed. You have, um, you are positive. You're thinking, po you're trying. You're living in a world of um, balance, emotions, balance. Um, uh, you know, you, you're living your life trying to stay positive, trying to stay grounded, trying to come out of wishing, hoping, praying for this relationship to work. Because in the past, you have been heartbroken. You have continuously been heartbroken over this relationship, wanting, wishing, hoping, praying, obsessing over this relationship. But now you have moved forward from that. You have moved on from that and you're grounded yourself and you continue to ground yourself in positive energy, um, enlightening yourself on your spiritual path. And you're blocking anything and anyone from coming in and taking and destroying this, this balance destroying this groundedness, destroying your peace. You don't want to hear about nothing else. Uh, you don't want to know about nothing else right now because you've just gotten yourself out of being obsessed, um, stuck, stagnant, worried, sleepless nights, anxiety over this relationship. You know, you, you, you came out of that energy and it, it took you a long time to get yourself grounded. But now look at you. You're just grounded. But I'm sorry to say, when I clarify, <laughs> uh, this person here is wanting another opportunity with you. This person here is waiting for the opportunity. They are balancing their, their um, shadow side with their... Um, this is their shadow side. They're trying to put balance in um, their, their shadow side with... Um, with the with with their truth and authentic of self okay their authentic self and they're trying to um pray i'm I'm say they're trying to look for an opportunity to come back in your life to um they're working on themselves. This is them. This is your person working on themselves. But they're working on themselves because of this. This opportunity to come back to you. Okay. For those of you that's waiting for this person, but you're trying to get your life on track and get and remove your energy and move forward. And until this person is ready, this person is wanting you to know and spirit wants you to know that this person is doing the work. Okay. They are doing the work. They're trying to create balance in their life. They are um, looking at the partnership, how to be a better partner to you, how to, how to give you the things that you need in a partnership. They're trying to learn about relationships, learn about um, how to have a successful relationship, what to do, how to act. They're trying they try to create duality in their life. This is the duality. Balanced in their emotions, balanced in their shadow side with their true authentic self. Um, they're trying to 
do the work. Um, where the re this is this is fundamental of what I keep trying to tell <clears throat> you guys in the comments. When you turn away from your person and you focus on yourself, your healing, your positive positivity, uh, where where being uh, positive affirmations, law of attractions, praying, meditating, whatever it is to get you in a healthy mindset. Loving on you, loving your life, whatever you don't like in your life, changing it, um, fulfillment. When you do this and turn away from that obsessive um, uh, thinking, 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 my person, my person, my person, I love you, I love you, I love you. Get out of that energy, obsessive energy, and focus on yourself in positive transformation in mind body soul and spirit and you turn from that that makes your person do the work and think about you as the fundamental because they're looking at you changing you're not looking at them this person is not looking at them this person is in their own peace so now that this person has took their energy back and focus on themselves, that gets this person's attention. And now they want to try to get their self together, get their act together and come in for another opportunity for you two to have something together. But as long as you obsess with this person, as long as you running after this person, this person is going to turn away from you and run away from you. So you choose which one you want to be. Do you want to be the one that's running after them or do you want them to be the one that's running after you? Which one do you want? Okay? Because here's it, here it is in contrast. Peace, joy, and happiness. Hard work to get to peace, joy, and happiness. All right, so that's how that that's how that roll. Okay, so that's what I have out of that. Okay, so let's go to the tarot. Um, all right, all right. At the present time, your person, this could be you, Scorpio, or your person is moving away from turbulent times. They're moving away from hardship, pain, suffering, uh, trauma. They moving away from this. They are doing the work, like I said. They are working on themselves. They. They are trying to be more positive. They're trying to move away from those things and from uh, things that no longer serve them. And they're just moving away from those issues. Uh, they no longer want to be bothered with that. And when I clarified it, the ancestors showed up. This is the ancestors. So this person's ancestors is working with them because this person has made a choice in the decision that they are not turning back they want to move forward they're not looking at the past anymore the past hurts past pain trauma and uh back in the and the ancestors is backing them because a lot of this is a uh, curses curses that was put on the family and in the back in the bloodline this person is turning their back on it healing from that and moving forward and the ancestors is blessing them for that okay right that's what this person is going through right now and that's this person okay they're getting help okay in the future we had in the future position we have the ten of pentacles all right so the ancestor is not only going to bless them and help them uh, move away and heal and um, from these um, family curses and different things that they need to heal within themselves, they're going to help this person build wealth, okay? Get the money back that was taken from the bloodline. This is an ancestral thing here. Money was taken from the bloodline. The ancestors is getting ready to intervene in this connection and get things back on track. 
um, the Ten of Pentacles. All of this money that was uh, taken from the bloodline is going to be replenished within this connection because this connection is getting ready to be blessed. All right. And here's your person. Your, per your person is going to be um, gaining material wealth. Um, this is your person. This is what they want to give to you. They want to give you a life full of um, love. Um, to back it up with material matters. Okay? You won't lack for anything. Okay? And they want to end that vicious cycle um, of hurt, pain, and um, that was caused um, because they were, they were um, in a vicious cycle. It just didn't start with them. It ended with them, and it's going to end with them. This was an ancestral thing, okay? And because they complete, because he, this, your person completed the task, they're going to be blessed. The bloodline is going to be blessed, and your person is going to be blessed. Therefore, if your person is blessed, you're going to be blessed. The outcome is the Knight of Wands, okay? Now, a lot of people give the Knight of Wands, oh, it's a player from the Himalayas and, you know, this and this and that. But what I'm getting right here is that this person is going, this fire, this fire, this is this uh this is the outcome because this person had what will have went through the fire to be able to go through what to, to go through the cycles of ending the curses and the different things that the bloodline had on that he had and he or she inherited from their ancestors. All right. So it, for this person to be able to end it, this person ended it. This person went through what they had to go through. But at the end result, at that time, when it ends up, this person is going to be the, uh, the Knight of Wands. And the reason why they're not the King of Wands is because um, they are they when they become one with you, then this person will be the King of Wands. When they become one with you. But th this union is blessed. This person is going to come in with fire. This person is going to be confident. This, conf this person is going to be bold. This person is going to be romantic. It's all going to be inherited from the bloodline. This person will be who they're supposed to be. Um, and that, I'm telling you, fire, passion, love. Um, it's not going to be a fly-by-night thing. The reason why they are coming in is this, because this person is going to have to come in boldly. Boldly. It's a, it's a kind of... Um, it's like expressive. This is this is this is going to be an expressive because of all the damage and all the things that they've done to this relationship. This person is going to have to come in fully persuaded. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, this person is going to have to be on fire and going to have to fully persuade you to to be back. And they're going to have the. They're going to have this, their spiritual team to back them. This right here is spiritually backing them to come forward. And they're going to back, they're going to back them. And, and, um, when you, you and them come together, this, this relationship will make him the king and make you the queen. Okay. You will be a queen. Nine, nine times out of ten, you are already um, probably the divine feminine, which is um, um, the empress. But they're not showing me the empress right now. So, But nine times out of ten, you will be... The, be this person's queen. And you and them will elevate to the emperor and the empress okay but that's not what they're showing me now okay so that's what that's what this is that's what this is about this is why this person is coming in as a knight this is why they're coming in as the knight of um the knight of wands because in order to get you back this person is going to have to 
Be very bold. Be very confident. Be very standfast. The, the Knight of Wands goes after what he wants. He don't let nothing stop him. And that is the determination. And that is why this person is going to come in like this. Because they're going to have to be this determined to get you back. To be able to get you to, to be able to get you to notice and be able to get your attention. They're going to have to be in this energy. Okay, so that is the tarot. All right. All right, your love messages is you really hurt me. So that's what I thought. So the reason why this person is going to be in that energy because they really, really hurt you and you are really, really determined to move forward. But um, this is a divine union. So um, everything is back in it. And this person is really going to come in and really turn things around in that energy. They're going to have to be bold. They're going to have to um, really come in. I mean, really, really confident. And, and and come in and go after what they want to get you because they really hurt you. They really cause damage to your heart. I am tired of running from my feelings. I just love you so much. Exactly. This person got tired of running. You made them stop running when you turned away from them. When you turned away from them and focused on yourself, you made them stop running. You made them long and thirst and hunger for you. Okay? If you... Uh, um, I love you for everything you are. You are the sunshine of my life. Exactly. You sure are. The sunshine. Yes, you are. You are the sunshine. Okay? All right. Okay. Your card is look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, so, um, Spirit is saying it's something within you. Look inside yourself to examine what would, uh, I'm not sure because I'm not picking it that this is the, the case. So, this is for this is just a general message. Um, someone that's on that has clicked on here, look within your side, look. Look inside yourself. Spirit is saying, look inside yourself. Your answers is within you. Examine you and find out why you are feeling the way that you're feeling about something. The answers is, are in you. And when you find the answer and you find the solution, believe it and do something about it. Okay? All right. I guess we got a few more minutes for the charms. Okay. So um, if you have your headphones on. To, uh, take them out because I'm getting ready to turn loud. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh. Let me take some of these out because we want I'm going to take some of these out and get because we want initials. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got Namaste. Hey, we got warrior. Somebody is a warrior. Warrior spirit. We have I choose strength. Somebody is a warrior spirit and they choose strength. They inspire others. You are enough. If you don't think that you're enough, you better, you better ask somebody. You are my sunshine. Yes, you are. You are my sunshine. Yes, you are. Okay. Faith. My faith makes me whole. You got to have faith. I always love you. I always love you. Yes, I do. You are protected. For those of you who don't think that you are protected, you are. Spirit said, live, love, and laugh. Okay? All right? And hope. Don't lose hope. Okay, so we have a K. We have an A, we have an X, so this could be your X. We have a J. We have a B. We have an S. We have an I, we have a W. We have an E. We have an O. We have a K, we have a Q, H, P, O, O, H, G. So it looks like to me we got hope. 
So somebody got a, a hope over here and got hope in here. Somebody's losing hope. Don't lose your hope. Always hope. Hope. H-O-P-E. Hope. You need to always have hope, okay? Somebody need to wake up. You got woke and you got wake. Somebody needs to wake up to this union. This union is spiritual. Um, Jake. Somebody named Jake. Um, H H A H I H I Hip. Okay, somebody might have hip surgery. Somebody know somebody. Um, hike. Somebody likes to hike. Your person might might like to hike. You might like to hike. Hike. Uh, hoop. Somebody might like to play hoop. Hoops. Basketball. BS. Somebody's tired of the BS. Somebody wants to have. Uh, somebody wants to have sex. Okay. Somebody wants to be intimate with somebody. Eight. No. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that's all I see right now, right off the bat. Okay, guys. So that's the charms. Those names could be um the first, middle, or last name. All right. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Um, I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment. Let me know how it did. If you like, click. If you like this video, click the like button. Share, please share my videos. Um, uh, it helps the channel. And um, if you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you, subscribe. Comment, comment, comment. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Okay, so I want to tell you this. I want you to wear your mask. I want you to be safe. I want you to take care of yourself. I want to tell you that I love you, 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 you. And I want to tell you I'm sending love and healing to you. And Trinity is out.